You heard that, latalkradio.com, 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Eastern Standard Time. C, little learn. Some people know that I can get angry about things, but um, I am not a mean person. See, I'm sharing the love. A fellow radio host here, you tune into Unfiltered first, and then you go listen to Todd on the radio. (laughs) I got a question. We talk about reality show stars a whole lot on our show here. It seems like they're in the news And I don't hesitate to use the term stars because they really are stars in their own right. What is this about? Um, 20 years ago, you know, stars were people in movies and Hollywood. What is it about reality shows that make these individuals um, so famous and just so in in tune with everybody out there in America? That's a good question. You know, I think just the fact that they're on TV, even though more and more people are appearing on TV and as you just mentioned they don't have to be actors and actresses. I think people are still enamored with seeing people on the television set because not everyone gets to appear on TV. But then I think also the fact that these people are putting themselves out there um, in a very raw, real fashion makes them relatable. And that's one of the reasons why I started Reality Cares was uh, back in 2004 – I mean still a lot of reality stars don't have a very good reputation, but back then – they um, they weren't being invited to the events that uh, A-list actors and actresses were being invited to, but yet they did want to use their newfound fame to make a difference. So what I started to do was to plan charity events and invited them. In some cases, they'd come up to me and say, I want to raise money for XYZ organization. Can you help me? So, uh, you know, it's I wanted to give a voice to both the nonprofits and to the reality stars who wanted to give back. Gotcha. Well, I know in your field of work, working with the reality stars, I just know these folks from what I see on TV. You've got to spend some time with some of these characters behind the scenes and get to see the real them. So I just got to ask you about a couple. People want to know these things. Okay. <laughs> Kelly Catrone, what oh. is she like in real life? People oh. think that she can be a real bitch, if you know, you know what, what I mean. Give it to me. Come on. I'll tell you the truth. Kelly is absolutely amazing. I mean, she is like she is on TV in the sense that, you know, she's she's no BS. She says it like it is. Um, but she has the biggest heart. She actually was a nurse. A lot of people don't know that, but she was a nurse before she started her PR company and um she is like a natural mothering instinct whenever we get together she's always giving me amazing advice and um she is very spiritual too and um is an amazing human being she's one of my closest friends that sounds kind of terrifying i'm imagining myself sitting in the emergency room with a broken leg (laughs) and then walks kelly catrone from hell on earth you know just like (laughs) hell on earth i don't know how i feel about that one no if you're a nurse you you got some love in you so yeah i'll go with you on that countess luann is she really a countess what is this whole thing about um well i've never asked her to show her countess credentials but i assume she's a real countess um she's really a, a, a wonderful person too and um, Luann's always been very supportive of Reality Cares. She came to uh, an, an event I threw two or three years ago here in New York and has been involved ever since. Uh, she always tries to make it to my events, and she does a lot of charity work, and I really respect her for that. You learn new stuff every day. I've got a new one to add to the lexicon, Countess Credentials. I never heard of that before. <laughs> um, you know, when I'm going to Arizona and I pull out my papers, I'll have to pull out my count credentials as well, just in case they try to, <laughs> I don't know, ship me back. You never know what's going to happen in Arizona <laughs> yeah. in this day and age, but we won't get into that. One more, Uh huh. Nicole, Dancing with the Stars. A lot of people kind of mad, felt that she really shouldn't have won because of her experience and dancing skills. What do you think about that? Well, I'm biased because she is such a doll. Um, she, uh, I had her as a guest on my radio show, and she shared with me, even prior to coming on the radio show, about her aunt with Down syndrome and uh, the fact that she was open and willing to talk about that experience and how she really wants to make a difference and help uh, people with special needs. That gives her you know, five stars in my book. So she won me over with that comment. All right. Well, we're running out of time. Just want to, um, you know, let everybody know how they can get in touch with you again. Actually, before that, one more time, the big event with Dina, when is that? Oh, that's Monday, June 7th from seven to 10. And it's a project ladybug. You can go to, I believe the website is project ladybug.org. Exactly. Okay. Project ladybug.org. And 
you again? Are you on Twitter, Facebook? Give me uh, all I'm your on stuff. All of those. Okay. You can just go to realitycares.org, and uh, my email is todd at realitycares.org, and you can find me on Facebook, Twitter at realitycares, and. Um, it's been a pleasure being a guest on your show. Absolutely. And then one more time for everybody out there. I know some of us didn't go to high schools as good as mine. I like to spell everything out for you all. R-E-A-L-I-T-Y-C-A-R-E-S dot org. That's O-R-G, realitycares.org. And then you can find Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Email. Thank you for stopping by, Todd. Thank you. And that was Todd. And we are still unfiltered, and we got to take a break to pay the bills. Stay tuned. I'm still angry. We're coming back right after these commercial messages.